Forge Cup Ministries is a Bible-based church. Our mission is to bring people to Jesus Christ. God's word is above all things. It's sharper than any double-aged sword, penetrating to your soul and spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit and open your heart as you make God's word the standard for your life. Promise TV, bringing people to Jesus Christ. I heard down the holy, oh holy. I heard down through the blood, oh love. Open your heart, come on, you enter. I enter to worship you only. I enter to Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Our viewers, you are welcome. We know that you are there. We thank God for your love and your support. We are praying for you that what we are receiving here, you too, you are going to receive your own. Your effort is not in vain. God Almighty is aware of everything that you are doing. We thank God that you are there once again. God bless you. As you continue listening and receiving what is due for you in Jesus' name. Say to your neighbor, you are welcome. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. Say it with confidence. Say it with confidence. Uh -huh. 
this is November. This is what? And we thank God that God has done it. Mm -hmm. He has done it. It is not by might or by power. Mm -hmm. By the grace of God, we are what we are. Mm -hmm. And I know that it is the grace of God. Look at the way you are shining. <laughs> that is the grace of God. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> we thank God. I want to remind you that you cannot save God without his holiness. It is the holiness of God Almighty in you that will enable you to save him faithfully. Once you receive his holiness, you are representing his will. You become peaceful, a loving brother, a loving sister. You know, living in this world without the holiness of God Almighty, there are so many things that can disturb your life. This is why, as a church, as believers, you as an individual, you have a lot to play. A very big law. Don't depend on the leadership of this world. I'm not talking about the leadership of this country alone, no. I'm talking about the whole entire what? world. It is only God Almighty who knows what is good for you. And it is only him who can fulfill everything. Our fellow human beings cannot fulfill. They have no capacity to do that. And it is through your prayer, even when it comes to effective leadership, unless there are people who can pray for the leaders. If you keep on condemning your leaders without praying for them, you are not helping them. You are just destroying them. In fact, you are making them to be more, what? Angry. But if you offer a prayer which is very effective, when I say that, I mean the person who is praying is holy. This is the word I want to talk about today. Holiness. There is no way you can depend on your voice when it comes to prayer. No. Do you know that there are people who can pray for five hours without ceasing? Do you know that? Once they start, they will sweat. Ba, 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 five hours. And there's someone who can just pray for a minute because he is holy or she is holy. And immediately God will answer that prayer. Why? It is not the voice of human beings that can be trusted to answer God's word. I mean, for God to answer your prayer. No. Remember the same voice. You can use that voice to insult. You can use that voice to do whatever you want to do. I mean, the mouth. You can put beer. You can give a kiss. You, anything that you, 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 you wish, you know, you can do that. But when it comes to holiness, it is only specifically to save God's interest in your life. This is why you need to treasure this word. Holiness. Are you holy? Hmm? You are holy. <laughs> are, are you sure you are holy? We sing that song, you are holy. You know the song? Uh -huh. Who is holy? That is God Almighty. When you see the anointing upon your life, it is not because of the prayer that you offer. No. It is the choice of God through your heart. When I say the choice of God, I mean your heart is obedient to the word of God. Even without saying, Father, I want to be a powerful prophet, God will look at your heart and say, this one, I'm going to anoint you as a prophet. This one, I'm going to anoint you as an apostle. So this is the message I want to share with you. Very simple. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 
14. Listen to this. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Before I proceed, I want to pause there. Because we are too familiar with the word of God. Don't read the Bible like a, a common, you know, book. No. Anything from this book is life. If the spirit of God is in you, you'll be holy and you understand the meaning, the deep understanding of the word of God. Make every effort to live with everyone. I mean, let me, I, I've jumped to one word. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. People of God, is it possible that someone who is possessed with evil power, someone who is possessed with anger, someone who is a non-believer can, you know, be peaceful or can make peace with his friend or his neighbor? The answer is no. The answer is no. Because the highest percent in human beings' life is plight. This is why you see even a child can insult an elder person. Because of what? Plight. But when the holiness of God Almighty comes upon your life, you become humble. You become what? Humble. Jesus was not provoked by any word or the insult or the beatings. Even Stephen, an apostle of God, he, he was not provoked. Why? Because when you, you know you carry the holiness of God Almighty, the appearance is you. But the inside, it is God himself who is in control. And because it is him who is inside you, you humble the flesh. The flesh cannot, you know, act according to its own feelings. No. Make every effort to make what? Peace. Even when it comes to forgiveness, people of God, without the holiness in these two or three individuals whom you are trying to reconcile, it is very difficult. Unless those people go through deliverance. The spirit of that problem is removed. Then the holiness of God might come upon their lives. When you talk, they will understand. Because where there is deliverance, there is reconciliation. There is forgiveness. Remember that you are getting closer to December. Why do you want to enter 2025 with the same thing that has been there affecting your thinking, affecting your, your prayer life? You cannot think properly because of the things that are you know, disturbing your life. You as an individual, you as a child of God, you as a woman, a man, a manager, a director, a leader, make every effort to make peace with everyone. Peace is the backbone of progress. Where there is peace, there is unity. Where there is peace, there is progress. Where there is peace, there is oneness. Without peace, you can talk about peace with your mouth. Your heart is full of evil. Are you there, people of God? The Bible says that. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone. And to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Me and you as believers. The end of our journey here on earth is to see our father. Because there is time for everything. After this life, there is another life. And it is for this reason that you need to sacrifice that plight. You embrace holiness. And once the holiness of God Almighty comes upon your life, you are representing the will of your father. 
you can live with everyone, even those who are very, you know, difficult to understand. Because you become the peacemaker. You are calling peace. You are calling love. Because of that, there is no situation that you cannot handle in your family, at your working place. The capacity, the ability will be established within you. When you sit down, look at a prophet. If you see a prophet prophesying about you, he's a human being. He's who? A human being. But who is talking through that prophet? It's the holiness of God Almighty in that person's life. Even when it comes to prayer, this is why you see, everyone will be on top of his voice. And yet, the evil spirit will be inside, sleeping comfortably, without even shaking. But when the holiness is released and touch your heart, that's when you see, do you know me? Hmm? Or you start vomiting. Or you say, I'll beat you today. Hmm? You are too small. This is the person who was, you know, praying on top of his voice. Why? Prayer is not your voice. It is not the energy of the body. No. It is the holiness in us. When you believe, you possess what you believe. Praise the Lord. Listen to 15. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. And that no bitter loot grows up to cause trouble and defile many. Mm -hmm. Listen to this now carefully. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. If you miss this, you become a thorn in the flesh of so many people. If the grace of God cannot locate you, who is going to locate you? Satan, of course. People of God, this is what is making, sometimes when you are alone, you are praying. You, you, you realize that the reason why I am here to pray, I am not here to show people that I am praying, you know, I want to be saved. But there are so many people who are going to church every Sunday, not to be saved, but to be seen that they are committed. If God cannot see your commitment, it's like you have never been to the church. Because when the first thing that you need to receive when you become born again, it is the holiness of God Almighty. That is the Holy Spirit in us. And it is now the Spirit of God to take over your life. To control you so that you will not be living the way you used to live before. What can make you to grow spiritually? It is not the number of days that you go for prayer and fasting. It is the relationship that you keep with God Almighty. There you discover more about God Almighty. There you discover more about the weakness of the flesh. It's more like someone who was a drunker before. And then you, you become born again. If you see your brother, you know, coming towards you, struggling, how do you feel? You see the foolishness of, you know, your brother. You say, so this is the way I was behaving. If you cannot see the bad things in that collect of beer, it's possible that one day you go back to that life. Do not miss. If you allow this world to mislead you through your eyes and your ears, you may likely miss the grace of God. You may likely miss the grace of God. And what is what is going to happen to your life is that you miss the portion of your life. There you become the slave of this world. Come on. Listen to this. This is verse 16 now. Before I leave, you know, 15. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. And, and that no bitter roots grow up to cause what? Trouble. 
I want you to know this from the bottom of your heart. Without the holiness of God Almighty, you may claim to be a peaceful person or a good person. One day you cause trouble to your family or your friend. Do you know that there are people who don't feel for others? You know that? There are people who don't feel for others or care for anyone. As long as it is good for them, that is fine. Your pain, your tears to them, it is a joke. There are people who are heartless. Why? Because what they carry inside their life is what is, you know, control their life. Sixteen. See that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like Esau, who for a single meal sold his inheritance. Ah. For a single meal he sold his what? His inheritance right as the oldest son. Understand this. Don't read the Bible like a history. Esau sold his birthrights because of what? What has made some of you and me to lose the relationship with God Almighty? Is it the money or whatever reason? Like Esau. You are talking to your twin brother that you do not need the birthrights. You are old. You are about to die. And the person you are talking to, Mwafiari Kwabushkubunga, Masekens Mupusene Kowalanda Shani Atina Ukula. Are you normal? Something is wrong with your mind. You can't tell you know, your twin brother that you are old. What are you doing? I'm not saying I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying something is wrong with your mind. He sold his birthright because of material things. There are some of you who are compromising with the standard of the word of God because of money, marriage, whatever. And you don't care. Why? Because you are not calling the holiness. Remember the Bible says that if you cannot call the holiness, you cannot see the Lord. For a single meal. 17. After what? As you know, when he wanted to inherit these blessings, he was rejected. Even though he thought the blessings with tears. He could not change what he had done. You do not have that you know, capacity to reverse your word by yourself. Take note of that one. You can only be forgiven by your father if you go to him, not through your word. There are people who can say, I, I, I am now a believer, like the common... Uh, Confession, we, you know, we conduct when you receive the word at the crusade. You hear people go to the front, say, hey, Lord Jesus, I have come to you today. I have stopped this and that. Be after crusade, if you were taking, you know, three bottles, you'll be taking six now. Because what you were saying was not true. I hope you understand this. You cannot reverse your situation by yourself. It is only God Almighty who can do that for you. And for you to receive that, you need to believe in him. And when you believe, you possess what you believe. That is the holiness in you. If you go around inside the church, start asking one by one, are you a believer? No one will say, I'm not a believer. Even a drunk, I would just say yes. A humanizer, I would just say yes. A gospel, I would say yes. Who are you deceiving people of God? You are deceiving yourself. Because God cannot be mocked by your, you know, your confession. His interest is your heart. Why is it that it's very difficult for us to be heard by our Father in heaven? It is the attitude of our heart. When you stand before God Almighty... Clear your conscience. Admit your wrong. So that you attract the holiness of God Almighty. It is not enough for you to be inside the church and to expect God 
to answer your prayer just because you are inside. No. God cannot bless you for the sake of you to go and masquerade that I'm blessed. No. God can only bless you for the salvation of your soul. And the first thing that you receive among the blessings from God Almighty, it is the holiness. So that you become his property. And when you become holy, you are like an ambassador of peace. Anywhere where you go, you always, you know, stand for peace. You always stand for peace. You see people quarreling, people fighting. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. And when you are talking, the wisdom of God that will come out of your mouth will come the situation. Do not compromise with the standard of the word of God because of material things. You are not going to see the Lord. Okay, if you are enjoying life today, you are eating, you are driving, you are okay, you are a manager, you are a leader, you occupy a very big position. Don't you know that you are a human being? Don't you know that someone was there before you become that leader? Don't you know that before you become the father, someone was the father to you? Are you not thinking about that? Where is the grandfather to your grandfather? They were like you. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and be holy. Because the God we serve is holy. Let's go to the book of Peter, First Peter. I'll be jumping, but let me start from verse 13. Therefore, with the minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. 14. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desire you had when you, you lived in ignorance. Take note of that. There is a difference between a non-believer and a believer. It's a pit that there are people who say, I'm a believer, but they are living a life of a non-believer. That's where the problem is. Before now, yes, because of our ignorance, but now we are inside the church. What are we doing here? People are enjoying life outside there. What are you doing here? Why are you wasting your time? Why are you punishing your body? Your spirit is not here. Punch your body because you want to get what? The holiness of God Almighty. That is salvation. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desire you had when you lived in ignorance. Listen to 15. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. What does it mean? Even at work, you need to be holy. Sleeping, you need to sleep as a holy person. Walking, everything that you are doing, the grace of God must be always upon your life. In all you do. Can you be holy when you are going out with a woman? Hmm? Can you be holy when you are going out with a married woman or a married man? Can you be holy when you are, you are doing corruption? And you are a leader. You are a child of God. That's what you say. But look at what you are doing. The Bible said that be holy in all that you do. Christianity it is not only on Sunday when you wear, you know, good dress and carry Bible. No, it is a, a, a everyday life. It is the way of life. Why do you want to be holy on Sunday? If I want to be holy, you know, on Sunday, I'll be embarrassed here. I'll be beaten here. You cannot impose to be a righteous man and you know for sure that you are not righteous. You cannot fake the holiness of God Almighty by your confession. You need to be holy because the one who called you is what? There is a difference 
between the foundation of your forefathers and the foundation of the gospel of the Lord Jesus. What you receive from your father, it, it, it is an empty life. It's here. Where is it? I think let's read together. The Bible says that as obedient children, do not conform to the evil desire you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, be holy in all that you do. For it is written, be holy, because I am what? Holy. Who is talking? Hmm? Listen to verse 18. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that we are redeemed from the empty way of life and down to you from your ancestors. No. No. I'm repeating this. For you know that it was not with a perishable things such as silver or gold that we are redeemed from the empty way of life and down to you from your ancestor. The life that you inherit from your grandfather, whoever was there, it was an empty life. But the one you receive from Jesus, listen to this now. This is 19. The one you receive from who? But with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect, he was chosen before the creation of the world. But was revealed in these last days for your sake. In which sake? For your sake. He was without a spot. He was, you know, blameless. What you receive from, even if your father is a rich man, and he, he died, and he left all those, you know, uh, mansions, whatever, properties, that is an empty life. That is what? Empty life. People can see you, that you eat well, you drive well, but there is no peace inside your heart. This is why you see even those who are suffering in terms of food, they have got more appetite than the rich man. Once they see carpenter, nshima on the plate, ha! <laughs> Without the salad, just carpenter, nshima, kalembula with only tomato. Before you know it, all the 25 lumps go and witness a rich man where he's taking his food. One lamp, one what? That's all. What can give you that appetite? It is the freedom of your heart. You were redeemed by the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus came to wash you from that, you know, you inherit from your forefathers. So that you become holy. Do you know that as a church, the law of every church and every servant of God is to preach salvation. That is the law. Church is not for politics. No. Or hatred. No. It is salvation. This is why even leaders, politicians, when they enter the church, they must feel the presence of God for them to be humbled. If they cannot see the presence of God, they will take over the church. They will look at the, your face and see poverty. As a man of God, we want to bless you with this. Hallelujah. <laughs> you can even surrender the altar to them if you hear the figure. If you hear what? <laughs> Church is not for fun. The life of a, a, a child of God is not for fun or these things that we are, we are hearing now. It is a place of, you know, holiness, a sacred place 
where every human being must be humble that the presence of God is here. If it is just you know to go to church on Sunday because it is Sunday, then I don't know where you are, what you are doing. God must be always part of your life as it is written here that be holy in all that you do. As a servant of God, you are like the ambassador, the president to send an ambassador to America. The ambassador cannot act on his own there in America. He has to consult the president. And it is under the instructions of the president that that ambassador will be discharging his duties. If the ambassador tried to be smart and start doing his own thing there, he will be recalled by the president. Servant of God, believers, I am not saying that people are supposed to be holy are only men of God. Even you believers, when you become a believer, the holiness of God Almighty must come upon your life. You possess a different character because you are holy. Ulungkumbwa luafumamo. Ulupato luafumamo. Sai ni mwinge shivilako muntunga pokele lobu mshilobu wakwa lesa. Fide fia lemu chushe fia kuchalo. Fila puamaka. Ni nishumwaishi batimuli lesomu. Nombe fia le michusha, nga fili fili michusha ni mweba leader. Mulibalu nkumbwa ni mweba leader. You are not a leader. You are a destroyer. Because you are going to use your position to disturb, you know, innocent souls. That is what we learn from the Bible. Every bitter roots within ourselves is a source of distraction. Te chupangyo mutende. Iweta wako ato mutende. No. No, na mielela. Muka timundi mweta mudi mutende. Bufi. This is what we see. You see our readers who say this, tomorrow you hear another thing. Why? Because what they are saying, they want to please people. They don't carry the way that they confess. They just borrow the way that can, you know, influence the masses. A servant of God, a believer, is someone who lives above fleshly desire. That is the life we receive from Jesus. Even when people are trying to fight you, they are not fighting you. They are fighting the one who is inside you. They can, you know, manage to afflict the flesh, but when God Almighty reacts, I mean, the, when the holiness within you reacts against them, that is the disaster to them. That is the danger. This is why you need to be confident when you become born again. So tell your neighbor, say, be holy. Because the one who called you is holy. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to fake yourself that you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are a Christian? It doesn't need anyone to go to Bible college and have a certificate to say I'm a... No. Be holy because the one who called you is what? Is holy. Mm -hmm. You are holy. Holy. You are, you are holy. 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 You are holy. Lamb of God. Lamb of
to now as I conclude. Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. The person who can love from the heart is someone who is holy. If you are not holy, you love with your mouth. You have purified yourselves by obeying who? The truth. So that you have sincere love for each other. Love one another deeply. From where? From the heart. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable. Through the living and endurance word of God. Look at these people of God. Love is from the heart. And that love cannot be permanent. This is why you see even in marriage, the person who used to call love, 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 tomorrow you end that relationship. Why? If love cannot settle where there is holiness, the enemy of love will challenge your, your love. It is only the holiness that can protect even your confession. You will be the man of your word or a woman of your word if you are holy. If truly you are a God-feared person, you will be a man of your word, a woman of your word. Because it is only God who is the same. I mean Jesus who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. As a human being, you move according to the situation. If things are good, you do be good. If you see man even inside, the, the man that you have been, you're not expecting, and you just hear funny, <clears throat> and then you check it. Hey. You, your face will change completely. Even, you know, before the film, it doesn't mean that that joy is coming from the heart. It's coming from where? When money finished, you become sad. But as a child of God, we live like Christ here on earth. We don't move by what we see. No. Jesus said in John 14, 27, that peace is what I live with you. He was talking from where? From holiness point of view. He did not overcome this world through the flesh. It was the holiness of God Almighty upon his life that to go before him to confuse his enemy. Look at this. If someone can just carry uh, your handkerchief to say this one is from Lenga and take it to a witch doctor, and witch doctor will invoke my spirit using this one. Are you telling me that your father can't do that? Are you telling me that Jesus is not greater than that evil? It is holiness you need. Tell your neighbor, say, Be holy. Say, Be holy. Say, be holy. Because the one who called you is holy. Yes. When you stand on your feet and you start praying, who is going to pray inside your heart? Your voice? Which can be defeated by a wizard. It is the holiness. Once you voice out, it's like you are releasing fire spiritually. It's like you are what? I was uh, telling my people, stand up my brother there with that t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I was telling my people, look at that hand there. They, say, they took that photo the time that we were praying. I think it was a mass prayer. I said, look at the hand there. That hand is not just a symbol. It is the prayer. I said, look at it. If you look at it, you realize that the power of God will shake uh, your body. I'm talking to you, my brother. You are looking at me. Look at the hand there. The holiness of God Almighty will come upon you. Immediately you believe the truth. That hand. See him. See him. The same t-shirt that he's wearing. What is there? He's wearing the t-shirt, and he didn't know that the hand which is like this is carrying what? Prayer. That is power. 
the man is now going backwards. Why? Look, you cannot save God that you don't know. You can only give what you have. You cannot give what you don't have. Sometimes I, 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 I see people wearing faith bracelets from our uh, man of God. Uh, you are busy counting, but your character, you are a gossiper, you are a, li a big liar, you are a crook. <laughs> but you are busy what? As long as you cannot discover that this is the truth, this is holiness, you may likely miss what is there. Not until when you discover that, oh, this is worthiness. Ah, even the one inside you will be shocked to say, hey, I'm in the wrong person. Please, he is holy. You too be what? God bless you. You are holy. <laughs>